Hey viewers, I'm going to continue working on the Specialized Hard Rock Mountain Bike here. And today what I'm going to do is replace the shifters. These shifter slash brake levers here are exactly how they were when I bought the bike. For some reason the previous owner removed the covers and just never replaced them. I don't know why. The shifters seem to work as far as I can tell. Anyway, so I uh, bought brand new uh, shift brake levers here and I'm gonna go ahead and install them. They're Shimano uh, They're f designed for V-brakes. There's an 8-speed and a 3-speed and their models uh, Shimano ST EF 51s and So that's what I'm gonna be doing today Okay, I'm gonna start off by uh, removing the uh, current shifters on there and so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the shift cables on there and I need to remove the grips. These grips are pretty wasted, so I'm not going to keep them. So I'm going to replace them. So I got an X-Acto knife here. And I'll slice these off. There. These off. And then there's a couple little clamps holding these things on, so just loosen the little clamp bolt here. Okay, this one I can slide right off here like this. And it looks like the end of the bar here has maybe got like mushroomed out a little bit, maybe from an impact or something. I've got that one off. And I also need to cut this brake cable there. There, got that one off. Now in order to get the uh, new shifters on a little easier, um, I'm going to go ahead and file down this little uh, ridge around this end of this shifter that was keeping me from getting the old ones off cleanly. If I really cared about the old ones, if they were still usable, I probably would have done this beforehand. And wipe off any metal filings off of there. And then the new shifter should just slide right on there, nice and cleanly. Just like that. Now before I clamp down the the new shifters, I'm going to go ahead and install some new grips. So that way I know where to position the uh, shifters. I got a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol here. Just squirt a little bit into the grips, shake it around, and then I slide these right on. Like that. Get them nice and straight. Same way with the other one here. Squirt a little bit of alcohol in there. Shake it around. That acts like a little bit of a lubricant that allows me to slide these on nice and easily. And then get them straight. And when the alcohol evaporates, they'll be on there nice and strong. Just like that. Now that I got those on there, I can position these. So just I put them right up against the grips like that. And I'm going to adjust them roughly about where I think they're going to be. And tighten this down. I can always reposition them a little bit later. Tighten that down. And then try to get this about the same angle is the other one. Tighten this down. Like that. Okay, I'm going to need to cut a cable housing to go from here down to here. First I'm going to unwrap this cabling here. It's nice that they supplied this and they have it already installed into the shifter which I'm assuming on this particular type of shifter in order to replace the cabling I'll probably have to remove the top but it's already in here so I don't need to do that and this looks like it might have been the housing for the shifter here so 
what I can do is test this. Um, what it needs to be is it needs to be a smooth curve here so that if I, I turn it like this and then also if I turn it around like this I don't want it to bind if it turns all the way this way but still have a nice smooth loop curve there and that actually works pretty good so I mean that's about the right length so I have some cable housing here and I'll go ahead and cut a piece that same length and it's always nice to have good quality cable housing cutters here otherwise it just makes a real mess of the the cable housing it just tends to squish it so I kinda like that and it's about the same length and I think I'm going to need probably the same exact length on the other side. So I'm going to cut me a second piece to go from here down to there for the front derailleur. Like that. Okay, I've got my cable housing here. Put a ferrule onto the end of the cable housing, slide the cable into the housing, get that up into there, slide a ferrule onto the cable and slide this up into place on this end of the cable housing and then get this all seated into there just like that I need to remove the ca the old cable from the derailleur here so loosen this little nut here I think pull this old cable out through here get rid of that and I'm going to go ahead and replace this little bit of ca cable housing too. Cut it just the way, same way I did the other part. Okay, I've got my new cable here and I'm going to run it through the guide underneath the bottom bracket here. And pull that through. And I've got my new cable housing and put a ferrule onto each end like this. Let me see. Run the cable down through here and then pull that through and then I can get the cable housing here positioned from right th this little cable stop here run the cable down through the little barrel adjuster there and pull that tight now adjusting the shifting is always one of the the more time-consuming little parts here little technical parts I'm gonna take the barrel adjuster I'm gonna screw this all the way in to start off with then screw it off out about one full turn and that'll give me a little bit of room to work with here and then I want to take the cable and slide it down through this little clamp here. Let me see, maybe loosen this a little bit more here. And get that up there like that. And then tighten this down. And I'm pulling the uh, cable taut here. And then I also have the chain on the smallest cog up here too to start off with. So I'm going to tighten this down. Preliminary like that. Okay. Okay, now I want to go ahead and test the shifting. So 
I'm gonna click it one click, one click. And it should have shifted up, but it didn't. So I'm gonna tight or I'm gonna take this and screw this out just a little bit. That pedal. I want to screw it out until it goes up the next cog there. Okay, so it did there. So now I'm gonna click it one more time and went up to the next cog, click it one more time, go to the next cog, click it again, next cog, one more time, go to the next cog, click it again, go to the next cog, click it again, goes up to the biggest cog. Now I'm gonna click it down. It goes down one, down one, down one, down one, down one, down one, down, one, down to the click up, there, down. Okay, that's pretty close. I may have to fine tune a little bit, little bit later, but that's pretty close. I'm going to cut the cable off here, leaving about uh, an inch and a half here. And then put a crimp end on here. Like this. Oh. And there, done with that for now. Now I'm ready to hook up the front shifter. So I have the cable here, and I've got the cable housing that I cut. I've got a, a ferrule onto the end of the cable here, the cable housing. And I'm going to slide the cable into the housing here like this. It's going to come out the other end. Slide a ferrule onto there. I get the cable in there like that. Yeah, there we go. And there's a barrel adjuster on here, so I'm going to tighten this down like that, and then maybe just unscrew it a couple clicks here, and get the cable running from here down to this little cable stop right there. I need to remove the old cable housing from the front derailleur, so I'll just loosen this little clamp bolt here, like this. And then I can pull the old cable out. Then I'll take the new cable, slide it in through the guide underneath the bottom bracket, and then direct it up here like this. And pull this tight. And then slide the cable into the little clamp part here. So it's in there. Okay, again, I'm going to use this little tool here. And I'm going to uh, tighten that onto there. Use this to pull the cable tight in there. Not so tight that it's actually going to pull the derailleur over, but just tight so that I take out all, all the slack out of the cable. And then I'm going to tighten this clamp down here, like that. And then I cut a little bit of the cable off there, just to kind of keep it out of the way there. Now I'm going to test the shifting on this. Um, I shifted the rear derailleur into a middle gear. So now I'm going to try this. Click it one click. Click it one click. That goes up. Down one click. Down one click. Up one click. Up one click. And it, it hesitated to go up there a little bit. So this little barrel adjuster that was on the shifter I'm going to go ahead and just turn that out maybe a couple clicks, like that. And shift down, shift up again, shift down, shift down, shift up, shift up, shift down, shift up. So it's shifting pretty good. So I think that's about where I want it to be and I can always fine tune it later. Now to finish this off, I'm going to cut this cable down here down to about an inch and a half long and take a little crimp end slide this on there like this and use my cable cutters to crimp this onto the end of the cable like that and then that's all finished up I'm ready to start installing the brakes and I'm going to start off with the, the front brake right now and here's the uh, cable housing that was there originally. And so it goes right down from here, down, uh, there's a noodle there, it goes down like this. So uh, this length of uh, housing is about right, so I'm just gonna cut another 
uh, piece the same length and I'm gonna go ahead and replace the noodle when I, while I'm at it okay I have the uh, cable housing cut and I'm gonna install the cable here into the in the brake lever here I'm gonna take the little barrel adjuster screw this all the way in and then just screw it out about one turn that'll give me a little bit of uh, room to play with here and slide this up into here bring this around then get the little notches here lined up in there like that and so now that's through there and on my cable housing I'm going to slide a ferrule onto the end of here and then slide the cable in to the housing and get this seated into there and then I have to figure out how I want to have this routed uh, probably like this boom make sure that it's not going to bind up here I can maybe go over both of them like this like this that actually seems uh, the best like that. Just have it going over both of the cables like that. Now I'm not going to put a ferrule at the end of this because if I put a ferrule at the end of this uh, uh, part of the cable housing, it's not going to fit into the end of the noodle. So I don't need a uh, ferrule on that side. So I'm going to slide this into the noodle. Slide this through. And get that seated in there like that and that'll sit in there like this I need to, to remove the remnant of cable from the brake here from the old cable pull that out and then I can route the new cable through here like this Then get it loosely adjusted here and see how it works. Uh, a little too tight. And loosen up just a little bit. Okay, so that's about the right amount of movement. Then I also want to adjust the brakes here. So let me tighten this down. Okay, so this brake moves just a little bit more than this one. So what I want to do is get this one out just a little bit. So what I'll do is this little screw here, I'm just going to tighten that in just a partial turn. And this one over here, I'm going to loosen the screw over here just a partial turn then try it and better but I'm gonna get it just a little bit more uh, tighten this one just a little bit and try it much better. You want them to uh, move roughly symmetrically and that actually is pretty good. Now I'm going to trim the cable here. Uh, I'll leave like about an inch and a half here. Put a crimp end on here. Crimp that on and then I can just bend this cable down kind of tuck it back behind there. All done on the front brake. Now I need to uh, do a cable housing for the rear brake and it's going to go from right here 
to right here and this is the original housing here so it fits right there like this and if I turn it that works pretty well if I turn it this way that works pretty well um, I can make it a little bit longer there but I think it's okay so I'm gonna stick with the same length of this cut a brand new piece the same length as this one then I need to run the cable here so I'm gonna screw this in all the way and then just screw this out about one turn here get the cable fed up through here uh, get these little notches in here lined up where's the little notch in th ah there it is in here get the cable in there now I got the cable housing and I'm gonna have a ferrule on both ends this and pull the cable through and get this seated in here like this and I'm gonna run the cable back behind here and then get it seated up into this cable stop right there now you may have watched one of my earlier videos here where I replaced these brake posts on here because they were uh, one was missing one was bent and so there were no brakes on this bike when I got it so I have some uh, brakes from another bike here that I've been having uh, lying around in my parts bin so I'm gonna go ahead and install these the little pin here is gonna go into the center hole down here on the boss like that um, there if I took off the brake pad it'd be a little easier to get on there and then I got a screw here with a washer Let's start that in I'm gonna have to adjust the brake pad here then get this one on here like this there so that's in the middle hole there and get the screw here and then tighten these in with a five millimeter Allen wrench. Make sure that they still move. Good. Now as these brake pads are they're currently coming up and rubbing against the tire and that's something you do not want so I'm just going to loosen this little adjustment bolt here and slide that in get these brake pads lined up with the rim so they're going to hit flat on the rim there And you can actually adjust it so that the, this edge here, the front edge, actually hits very slightly before the back edge. But you want it parallel with the rim and that it's not going to hit the tire. That's pretty good. Maybe just a little bit this way. That's pretty good there. Now do the other side. And yeah, that's not even parallel to the rim there. So I'll just loosen this up just a little bit. Bring this in. Yeah, that looks pretty good. 
Now I need to cut a bit of cable housing to go from here down to the noodle here and it needs to have like a little bit of a, a curve here. This is a bit of the cable housing that I pulled off of the front. I don't have a, a piece to um, start off with for this like I did on the front to use as a uh, sample. So let me see here. Uh, I'll try about that long there and see how that works. Okay, so I've got the piece cut here. I'm going to put a ferrule on the end that goes into the, into the cable stop here, but not one that goes into the uh, noodle there. Run the cable down into the cable housing here. Run it down into the noodle, pull it through, get that fitted in there, get this fitted into here, and get that over there like that. Okay, I got the little rubber boot here, Let's slide this onto the cable here like this. That'll sit there like this, and then I'm going to get this cable here, bring this together like this, and then I'm going to tighten this down a little bit. Okay, this is pretty good. I'm going to tighten this down here, but I'm going to need to adjust the brakes just a little bit. See, this brake here is moving just a little bit more than this one. And this one's hitting the pad and stopping before this one. So what I want to do is pull this one out just a little bit. And I'm going to do that by tightening this little adjusting screw here. Just turn that in just a little bit. And then the adjusting screw over here, I'm just going to loosen a little bit. I try them again. This, and it's getting close. So I'm going to tighten this one just a little bit more. Loosen this one just a little bit more. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to make sure that this is nice and tight here. Trim the cable off to about uh, an inch and a half. Put a crimp end on here. Crimp it down. Tuck this kind of behind there like that. And there. I'm all done. I got brand new uh, shifter brake levers installed, new cable housings, and all I have to do is take this out for a test ride and do any fi final uh, adjustments on it. But hey, that's there you go. That's how you do it. Um, anyway, I hope you uh, found this interesting or helpful. If you did, please click the like on there. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Click the big subscribe button down here and you'll see new videos as they come out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope, this, hope you found this helpful.